All right, I'm continuing with this subnetting skills challenge. We're going to subnet um, this network. We're going to create addresses for um, all of these subnetworks. And then we're going to take it all into Packet Tracer. And we're going to configure the whole network with uh, static and default routes to make it work. So in the last video, we did uh, the R1 router and we created the address space for the R1 router and we did the R2 router and the address space for the R2 router. In other words, we um, took this address space 172.20.0.0/16 and we subnetted it for um, four subnets of a thousand hosts each. And we did this one. We took this address space and we subnetted that for four networks of 60 hosts each. So now we have to do um, this one over here. We're going to take the 172.24.0.0 um, network address space slash 16 and we're going to subnet it for four subnets, four separate networks of 5,000 hosts each. So this is how we'll do it. We've got uh, open up notepad here. I've got my binary place values for eight bits here. Um, at the top, this is two to the zero place, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four, two to the five, two to the six, and two to the seventh. All right, and um, uh, two to, uh, this two to the seventh power is one twenty-eight. Okay, um, and let's see here. Uh, all right, and now what we need to do is we need to do this network here, one seven two dot twenty four dot zero dot zero slash sixteen. I have it here, 172.24.0.0 slash 16. And we're going to, uh, we need uh, 5,000 hosts for each subnet. Well, our host, we can tell how many hosts we have in our subnet by how many zeros are there. So you can see here that if we have um, eight zeros, right, two to the eighth power is 256 or 256 hosts. That would be a normal class C subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and we'd have 256 hosts, 254 of which are usable. Can't use 0, can't use 255. And then if we add another 0 here, um, if we add another 0 here, we get 512 hosts and we add another 0, we'd get 1024 hosts and so on and so forth. And we get down here, we can see that if we have five zeros here and then eight zeros here, right? That's 2 to the 13th power. Um, we would have 8,192 hosts. And that's what we're going to use to create four subnets of 5,000 hosts each. So our subnet mask would be 255255, and this would be 224. All right, 224.0. Now, what, how did I get that? Well, this is the 128 bit right here. This is the 64 bit and this is the 32 bit. And 128 plus 64 plus 32 in these place values, right? Here's the place values up here, would be 224. And this would be a, um, there's eight ones here, another eight ones right here, and then three more ones. So that's 8, 16, 19. So that would be a slash 19 address space. So go here. So what we're going to leave with is slash 19 is going to win the day and slash 19 will give us 8192 hosts. Okay, so let's do it. So this would be um, the magic number here, the last one, the last number one bit borrowed is in the third place, which means um, 32. So the magic number in this case right here is 32 in the third place value from left to right. So one, two, three, 32. So the networks will go up by 32. So the first network is going to be uh, dot zero, dot zero. The next network will be dot um, 32, dot zero. The next network will be 64, dot zero. And the last network will be dot 96, dot zero. All right, and they will all be slash 19, slash 19, slash 19. And if I wanted to write it out, the subnet mask in decimal, it's right here. Um, I've got the in 
decimal format, it would be 255.255.224.0. That would be the subnet mask, or slash 19. So those are our networks, our four networks for here. Now, to make this whole thing work, we also have to subnet two more networks here um, for 30 hosts each from the four address space. And to do that, two networks of 30 hosts each, 192.168.4.0 slash 24. What we could do is, and that would be pretty easy, 192.168.4.0 would be the first one. And we need 30 hosts each, right? 30 hosts, 30 hosts. So we would also use a magic number, 32, or a um, slash 27, right? Which in this case would be a 255.255.255.224, right? And let me get the slash in there. And then the two networks would be copy, paste. The next network would be 32. And that would be two networks of 32 hosts each. Well, why is that? Well, let's take a look at the subnet mask for that. The subnet mask for that would be in binary. If we were to do a slash 27, I'll do it right here. It would be, I'll just copy this. Copy, paste. All right, we're going to do slash 27. So that's eight ones, 16 ones, 24 ones, 25, 26, 27 ones, right? And you can see now that this one is in the place value 32, magic number of 32. So um, 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224. And this changes to 255, right? And 27 ones means this changes to 27. And how many hosts would that equal? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five zeros, or two to the fifth power in hosts. The zeros represent our hosts. Two to the fifth power in hosts would be 32 hosts. Or you could look at it this way. The magic number in this case, since we're in the last octet, the magic number will tell us how many hosts we have in our network. The last one is in the 32's place, so that means there's also 32 hosts. You can do that when it's in the fourth octet. Um, and 32 hosts. So um, those are the two, the one, two, three, four network addresses, and then two more network addresses here to map to these four networks here and these two networks here.